Hey guys, I'm Erica Capito for Hello Canada. Today we're hanging out at the first ever We Store at the Toronto Eaton Centre downtown with Bridget Mendler. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Yeah, hi. Cool. Glad to be here. I want to remind everyone before we get into it that you can join our conversation by chiming in or submitting your own questions on Facebook. So first of all, I want to know there is or there are rather random acts of we on your agenda while you're here. What are those? Random acts of we, it's basically random acts of kindness, so it's a gesture to help others, can be big, can be small, whatever. So how can your fans and all our viewers here get involved? I think the objective right now is to, to get people to come to the We store and check out the We movement and um, all of the great artists and brands looking flashy today with this, um, just to see what the We movement is about. So why is it important to you to to take that time and to encourage your fans to give back? I want to encourage my fans to give back because I want to show them that it can be fun and that they can have a genuine impact in people's lives and do something that's gratifying for them at the same time. Now, we're big fans of We Day. We know that it attracts a ton of cool celebrities. Is there anyone you've met who you're a big fan of through your work with We Day? I met some cast members from New Girl. <laughs> I love that show. <laughs> so, yeah, but We Day has been so much fun. I've been a, p a part of a couple of them. The latest one was in L.A., and there were, I think, like 16,000 kids that came. A completely free concert, and they, they came just based off of their volunteer work throughout the year. And, like, Big Sean performed, and then they have all of these philanthropic heroes, these kids who are, like, 13 years old and doing things that are already impacting and changing the world. It's such an inspiring day. You leave feeling elated cool so there while you're here you're also taking time to do meet and greet why is it important for you to set aside that time to meet your fans I think it's great to meet the fans I want to I want to meet you I want to get to know you and hang out and let's do something good at the same time I also want to ask about undateable we know came to an end when you look back on that experience what's the biggest takeaway it was such a fun show, honestly. It was terrifying because it was all live, direct to air. So whatever you said, the entire country saw. Um, but I was, uh, I was really glad to have that experience because it was such a growing experience for me, learning from those comedians. I think it's sharpened my sense of humor, that's for sure, and given me a thicker skin because comedians are intense. It's like having five big brothers who pick on you all the time. So both positive and humorous, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I want to know, you're working on your second album. What can we expect? You can expect um, a lot of exciting new music, and I want to interact with my fans in a new way through this project. All of the stories come from a really real place, and um, it's just reflective of where I'm at now, so I'm excited to share. So how does it differ from your debut album? I think stylistically, I've just put a different sort of attention towards it. Um, I worked with the same two producers for the entire project, and we, uh, we just made a, a very honest body of music. It's very collaborative, and um, I'm just trying to think of my own style in a fresh way, so I'm excited to unveil that for everybody. Are there any duets on the album? Yeah, the single actually has a feature on it. So uh, you'll be finding out about that very soon. You heard it here, a feature. Yes. So what are you listening to lately? Ooh, as I was coming in to Toronto, I was listening to the new Bad, Bad, Not Good album. They're tight. They're good. Now we have to ask, you look great today. Are there any uh, fall fashion or beauty trends you're looking forward to trying? Ooh, I mean, you're asking the girl who is so out of touch. Um... Fall fashion or beauty trends, I guess what you can look forward to in L.A., this doesn't really count because it's just hot all year round, but I love boots, and so um, I, I'm into lace-up boots right now, so I'm looking forward to whipping those out. However, the sandals have been very refreshing <laughs> to wear, to just like slip that on. I love easy, so if something takes too long for me to put on, I just get very lazy about it. Are there any celebs whose style you really admire? Um, I admire the style of... I can't think of a single person right now. <laughs> I'm going to say no. We can, we can go with that. We actually put a call out for uh, questions from fans, and we got a ton of responses. So I wanted to ask you a few. First of all... oh. 
Veronica wanted to know what's your favorite food. My favorite food. Um, I there's this amazing pizza place in LA called Two Boots. Shout out. And they do cornmeal crust pizza and all these like quirky flavors and it's really good. Will you be going on tour at all this year? That's the plan, man. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it happens in music. Singer, actress, rapper. You're right, you're right. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Paula wanted to know if you could choose a theme song to your life, what would it be? Well, my alarm clock ringtone is Africa by Toto. So that generally, uh, that, that's an epic start to my day. And we got a question from Eggie that was, what's the last thing you cooked or baked? I made some really good carrot pancakes. Now, before you say, wow, that sounds gross, it's actually really good. Like, think of carrot cake except as a breakfast food. And when something great happens, who's the first person you call? I think probably my mom. I mean, she's also very great with advice. She just, like, she knows how to kill it. Especially with business advice, actually. She's such a smart lady. That's awesome. Let's take a question from our viewers watching right now. Oh, that's us. That's, hey, us. that's us. I'm seeing me. <laughs> so. Those those, oh, those are hearts. That's fun. And smiley faces. It's like I've never seen technology before. Here's one. What's your favorite social media platform? Twitter. I love Twitter. I've met so many people through Twitter. And, uh, you know, not in a creepy way. But, like, it's, it's cool. That's, that's the modern way to meet people. Now, there's another fan who wants to know, is there a moment you can tell us about that inspired a song or a lyric we're going to hear on the new album? Ooh, a moment. Um, or... You know, there's this one song on the album, I'll just reveal it now, it's called uh, Do You Miss Me At All, and um, I was driving around San Francisco just singing out loud in my car, and this chorus of the song just came out. I was feeling really sad one day, um, and when you just feel it, sometimes it, it writes itself. That's so cool. Let's find our last question your dream vacation destination Ooh, I really want to go somewhere in Asia I know that's a massive geographical location <laughs> um, like you know so vast but um, I've been watching a little bit of Anthony Bourdain travel abroad and it looks just like the food there is insane cool well thank you so much for chatting it was a pleasure meeting you and thanks everyone for chiming in thank you bye